Fast Friday Shop Talk, everybody. I did get out of work in time, like I wanted to, and uh, I proceeded to come home. I had to do some uh, little bit of wood repair on our front porch. D didn't take long at all. I had to repair a little bit of plumbing. Didn't take long at all. And uh, like an idiot, I did the yard. I had to. It's been, I haven't done it since the, that COVID thing. I know I'm supposed to take it easy, but at some point I have to, uh, you know, start getting back. And it wasn't too bad because it wasn't hot at all. I did it early this morning. It was actually kind of cool and actually I hardly sweat. So, but I'm feeling it right now, I'm tired. So I wanted to do the shop talk. I wanted to come back here. Actually, I was gonna start playing around with my, my car to scales. Uh, kind of get it uh, set up and started for the weekend. I brought, uh, I got my dials. I'll pick up some more dials this weekend since I had not started yet. But I got a whole package of skewers. And this is what I stick in the holes too in the scales. You'll see that in the video. I like it because it has a sharp point. And you can stick it in there like a, a wedge, a wood wedge. And break it off and go through the other end. Why do I use wood pegs to sandwich the scales? It's because when I sand the top, I'm sanding these wood pegs too. You don't have to worry about screws or anything. It just all goes down. And then when you get it down to where you want, you just pop the wood out. Anyway, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. This video, I want to get to something real quick. This is very important to me. It's bothering me. Uh, I want to make sure people understand. I got this... Uh, TDI, I carried it today. I, it's so light, I forgot I carried it. This is the TDI 2490. Okay, it's very light. It has that uh, lock bar, uh, crossbar, I'm sorry, flipper and thumb hole. Now, when somebody gets this, they, I want them to understand, most of you guys do, this is what it is. Uh, somebody not too long ago made a comment on the uh, SOG Army site on Facebook. They said they got the Pentagon uh, XR and it was a piece of crap. It's it plastic. Well, it's very light. And I'll tell you why. That's carbon fiber LTE. I commented. I let him know the reason why this is light is it's carbon fiber. And this is just as strong. I got the, uh, this is the original. This is heavy. This is quite a bit lighter. Okay. And this is just as strong. It's just lighter. If you like that lighter bit, it's like their key QXRs. They have the, uh, they have a carbon fiber LTE model. Okay. So I'm trying to, I'm going to get to some in a second. My vision XR that I use every day. Okay, that's the partial serrated. Here's here's the one. This is carbon fiber. Okay, I like the colors. By the way, it's less intimidating. But because it feels like plastic, that's carbon fiber. Okay, that's very strong. So if somebody's ordered this, you saw my video and you get it. What this is? This is GFN. Okay, I mentioned that in the uh, video yesterday, the short. Uh, that's glass filled nylon. It's a nylon based plastic. Now, it's a good thing. It's strong. And this is light. You got to understand this is usually carried by law enforcement or military. And the lighter, the better, man. I mean, they're carrying enough weight as it is. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I carried today, and I actually forgot I was carrying it. This was actually lighter than my uh, Spider Codelica 4. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try and do, I don't even know if I have a tube. I want to do a tube slice. Look at that blade. And that's all I say still. So I wanted to bring that up, okay? And I brought out... Is that what I want to discuss there? Yeah, I brought out, but I'm going to do a short video on these. These are that mail calls I made. This is that uh, Joker. Uh, I didn't really have specs for you guys. And I'm going to do a short video. 
But this is the Joker Serana that I got. Isn't that beautiful? The blade is a MOVA. They call it MOVA stainless steel. It's made in Spain. This knife is made in Spain. And I wasn't sure what the handle was made out of, or y'all call it cover. Uh, this is a buffalo horn. I knew it was horn something. And they did put a little leather lanyard on there. So this is the Joker Serana Sports Pocket Knife, and it's made in Spain. I absolutely love this. I took it out last night, and uh, it's just fantastic. It's a lock back, too, and I love that. Very, very good quality. This is one of my favorite traditional folders. And the other one, I wanted to, I, I wasn't sure what it was, the information on it, but this is the Boker Tree brand. And what it is, is it's the Boker Tradition Series 2.0. This is the Trapper Knife. This is Blue Bone. And the steel is CPM D2 Steel Polished Finish. Of course, two blades. And it is a uh, Trapper. And what they did, this is made in Germany. This is the Tree Brand Series. Just a beautiful knife. I just love this to death. I saw they had a they had a couple other colors and a textured bone, and I'm thinking about getting it. It's such a good quality, and this is probably one of the more expensive traditional knives. It's around fifty eight bucks, I believe. Okay, and this is a uh, nickel bolsters. I forgot to mention that. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do some shorts on these. I told you I would. I think today's gonna be a good day to do it. Uh, I'm gonna take it easy the rest of the day. I'll probably do some reruns. I know y'all tired of it, but I haven't done it in a while. I got some fast hawk throwing video, short videos. Uh, I'll see how I feel, but uh, that yard man, it, it kind of took it out of me. Plus, I went into work this morning. I got into work at 4:30 for crying out loud. All right, guys, this was uh. Fast Friday Shop Talk, and it might turn out to be AKA Fast Talk Friday. Now I do have in this drawer some throwing knives. I might do that this weekend, just throwing knives. Like a lot of people buy throwing knives to throw. I have those. I have a couple of drawers full of them in here, and I do them sometimes. <clears throat> but I usually like to try and throw some uh, knives you carry. Speaking of which, y'all would have known what I did today when I got home. Yes, sir. Let me pull this off my belt. I told y'all, anytime I do the yard. So this was my uh, fixed blade knife today. This is my Ontario 499. And I can't wait to get uh, my sanding belt uh, set up. And I was also reading. I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow at Harbor Freight. Uh, I got some more bits I can get to really uh, practice... I'll do that on a spare blade. You know what I'm saying? I take a broken blade. <laughs> this is uh this is one from a couple of years ago. I broke it on the board. It wasn't uh it wasn't expensive. <clears throat> but that's how I practice. So to get my uh serration pattern, I was practicing on that. So I'm gonna try those bits, practice on it. But yeah, I love this thing. So that's why I'm carrying around the house. Plus, this right here. The uh, 2490 TDI by KVAR. Okay, y'all take care now. I did it again, nine minutes. I'm sorry. Saga out.